now we will see increase or decrease as percentage you must be hearing suppose we say that uh, the area of the uh, the population of the state is 550000 and in one year it is increased to 605000 then it means there is 10% increase of the population here we are by calculating we come to know by calculating we come to know the percentage increase in the population is 10% as we have already discussed you must be visiting malls and shopping complexes there you must be seeing 50% discount this 50% discount means what reduction in price the price has become just half so this is what about increase or decrease in percentage now we will see prices related prices related to an item or buying and selling prices related to an item prices related to an item or buying buying and selling cost price cost price basically what is cost price the price at which we purchase an item is known as cost price the price at which we buy or purchase an item is called cost price it is denoted by it is denoted by c p cost price selling price the price at which we sell the thing is known as the price at which we sell the things we sell the we sell an item or thing we sell an item is called selling price it is denoted by sp all right so the price at which we are purchasing the thing is known as cost price and the price at which we are selling the thing is known as selling price suppose we are buying a pen we bought the pen at rupees 8 this is cost price that we have bought the pen at rupees 8 but we are selling that pen in rupees 10 so rupees 8 has become the cost price and rupees 10 has become the selling price clear there are many things related to related with this cost price and selling price now we will see the cases related with cost price and selling price case 1 if cp is less than sp suppose we are purchasing a pen in rupees 8 but we are selling the pen in rupees 10 we have purchased it in 8 rupees but we are selling it in 10 rupees then we have a profit of rupees 2 then profit occurs then number 1 profit Occurs. It means profit is equals to or 
profit is equals to SP minus CP. Number two, CP is equals to SP. Suppose we have bought a copy in rupees twenty, and we are also selling the copy at the same price, rupees twenty. Then we have no profit, no loss. No profit, no loss. Number three, if ST is greater than CP, suppose we have bought a flower pot in rupees two hundred, but we are selling the flower pot in rupees one fifty. Then we are facing a loss of rupees fifty. Then loss occurs. If SP is greater than CP, if selling price, if CP is greater than, if CP is greater than SP, if CP is greater than SP, then loss occurs. Suppose we have bought a flower pot in rupees two hundred. But we are selling the flower pot in rupees one fifty. Then what we are facing? We are facing a loss of rupees fifty because we have purchased it more money. But we are selling it in less money. So when SP is less than CP, loss occurs. So loss is equals to CP minus SP. All right. Now we will see profit percentage. Number four, profit percentage. Profit percentage is equals to profit upon CP into hundred percent. Now, loss percentage, loss percentage is equals to loss upon CP into hundred percentage. Loss upon CP into hundred percentage. Both profit percent and loss percent is calculated on cost price. Is calculated on CP. Now we are going to see charge given on borrowed money or simple interest. Raju wants to buy a car by taking loan from the bank. the amount which he is borrowing is known as principal for that amount which he has borrowed and he is using for a period of time for that amount he has to pay some extra money to the bank till the money is returned to the bank this extra money is known as interest at the end of the year the borrowed money plus this interest is to be paid to the bank at the end of the year this is known as amount so amount is equal to principal plus interest interest is always represented in form of percentage 10% interest means what 10% means what i have already cleared you 10% means 10 out of 100 Ten percent interest means for every hundred rupees he has to pay rupees ten to the bank by the end of the year. Interest for interest for multiple years. Multiple years. If you are borrowing. the money from the bank for more than one year how the interest will be charged then the interest will be charged as p into r into t upon 100 where p principal r rate of interest rate of interest t time suppose 
Jitu wants to buy a mobile phone and he is taking a loan of 20,000 from the bank. Alright? And he asked the bank to give him a loan for two years. Then 20,000 is the principal amount which he is borrowing from the bank. This is 20,000. The bank says the rate of interest will be 5%. Then R will be 5%. Time is 2 years. Then 20,000 into 5 into 2 upon 100. Like this, the interest is being calculated. And how amount is being calculated? Principal plus interest. The basic amount which you are borrowing from the bank is your principal. Alright? The interest charged is on the form of percentage. And time you can set according to you or the bank people will set the time according to your need. Thank you.